Yes. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to mention to those that are in sheriff's departments throughout the United States. Yeah. If you just read that article in the screen print that I made of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. About um, Brady versus Maryland. Yes. Mm -hmm. You understand the obligation of exculpatory evidence. Yes. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to be in this jurisdiction, okay? <laughs> because I will sue every individual that reads the article, right, for their knowledge that you have to admit the exculpatory evidence when you know somebody didn't commit a crime. Oh. <laughs> now, I have mentioned this numerous times, and then there's that uh, deception. Yes. <laughs> it's very deceiving to go through the process of uh, filling out all the forms for dissolution of marriage, yes, and then alleging, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a Class C felony, yes. Now, who was it in Healthy Families of Clarion County that said, well, we'll really get the guy? Mm -hmm. Because I just sent an email today about the use of deception, right, to get what you think you want because you think that I won't sue you. Poo! Now, I know it's more than just Clown County because I just put it on the Facebook. Yes. Why don't we just track? Yes. Every IP address that reads the article or the screen print mm -hmm. that happens to be an employee of this government. Yes. Or any government for that matter. And then we'll just see by the time I put this on the YouTube exactly how many additional lawsuits there are. Multi-billion dollar day. Mm -hmm. Now, by color or aid of deception means that the deception operated to bring about the obtaining of the property or services. <laughs> the deception that I committed domestic violence when I didn't, when I was found not guilty, yes, so that you could obtain my son's, ooch, ooh, and oh my gosh, it is not necessary. Oh, <laughs> deception occurs when the actress known as Heidi Lee Budnick knowingly creates or confirms a false impression that you know is false, that I wasn't a, t well, it might have been a not guilty right now, Ouch. but it sure was by color or aid of deception. <clears throat> It was worse than a bad faith when you have me arrested three days later on the 27th. Yes. And then it's the 28th is Memorial Day weekend. Right. And I'm arraigned on the 29th. <laughs> and then you say, well, it's within 90 days. We can just reissue. <laughs> now, I want my sons removed from the way. Do you understand? Yes. I want them removed from that school. So we're going to see, by the time I put this on the YouTube, how many additional police officers, sheriffs, oaths, badges, attorneys, civil rights coordinators, employees of school districts right now. And then I'm going to ask, yes, superintendent of the Port Angeles School District, did you read the article in Peninsula Daily News? I'm going to ask Gary Neal of the uh, school district, Swim School District, did you... <clears throat> I'm going to ask each and every individual in this county, in Jefferson County, in every state of the United States, did you read the fucking article? <laughs> because there is a large number of lawsuits. Now, I wanted you to understand something, okay? Oh, wow. I was just Googling Budnick, B-U-D-N-E-K, and I was using the time frame of one week. Yes. How my name, right, got associated with the homeless connect that took place on Friday. Yes. If you did take my picture, maybe you'd like one of the 10 million pictures of myself that you can find in the YouTube videos. <laughs> if you thought it was funny that I had all my hair shaved off. <laughs> and then there was the whole signing, I want a copy of this. And then I did keep my number 161. Yes, I wasn't being deceitful. When I was exiting the building, he asked me for my lanyard. Yes, I said, well, I'm just going to go over to the senior center because I thought I was going to go back there for... Uh, for lunch, yes, but my this is my name, Paul, and I was at 161 at the Homeless Connect last Friday. So there's no question about the actual liability form. That's right. Now, I thought I would return. Isn't that right, George? Yes, but as it worked out, I didn't have time, and I decided, well, since I'm going to dinner, <laughs> they probably won't miss this. I mean, is it considered theft? <coughs> Now, since it's not considered a Paul 161, yes, why don't you go ahead and get that fucking form right now? Because I'm going to sue you. Now, why don't you get me all the subscriptions to the Peninsula Daily News? Yes, 
all the IP addresses to their newspaper website? Yes. And every IP address of that article, poop. Because when I found out that my sons were in the wrong grades, yes, I thought newspapers could be held liable for that information. Poop. And when I inform you of my wife being involved in the family, poof, I'm absolutely this little religious cult of the Baptist. Yes, the four squares and the Mormons. <laughs> I'm going to want to know every subscription to the Oprah magazine since they started it. Yes. Every individual that was given a ticket to every Oprah show. Pooch. All of those on XM radio or Sirius XM radio. Yes. That have ever listened to the show. Boom. And every individual that happens to be in a list of persons that have purchased anything that Oprah herself has. Oh my gosh. It's a presidential candidate. Thought he'd go the way of the citizens. How are you? You know that tea that Starbucks introduced? <laughs> A lot of people like it, and if you haven't been to your local Starbucks, you should, because we should all be billionaires, as I said yesterday, <laughs> and we should all spend all our money on million-dollar items so as to continue to grow the luxury goods industry. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? <laughs> we don't need to increase the taxation on those that are billionaires, and <laughs> considering Oprah's billions, pooch. Maybe she'd like to help me celebrate heterosexuality. <laughs> now, I thought Oprah Magazine was going to offer you $300 a month so that you and yours could go out for dinner. You could buy yourself a new outfit. <laughs> you could get your hair done every month and you could get your nails done. <laughs> because I thought Oprah was going to give away her wealth during the last 20 years of her life <laughs> in celebration of the heterosexuality of the United States of America. <laughs> so for every large African-American woman that needs her hair done, that needs to go out with that special somebody. Get yourself a good meal. <laughs> For all of those that need to go out to a movie or maybe one of these dance places. <laughs> I know that Oprah is one of the biggest supporters of heterosexuality in this great nation. I know that. I know. <laughs>